Tokyo Metropolitan Komagome Hospital was established in 1879 and was originally intended to treat the spread of infectious disease before increasingly focusing on oncology. Through excellent clinical care as well as great research facilities, they've grown to become one of Japan's most prominent cancer hospitals, with the fifth highest number of patients in the country. Within the hospital, the Division of Hepatology provides essential diagnostic and clinical services to patients with a wide range of liver diseases, all while pushing the boundaries of their understanding of liver disease. Our division specializes in liver disease, mainly treatment of liver cancer, liver cirrhosis, and chronic hepatitis. The hospital is characterized by a wide range of research from basic research to clinical trials. The division is focused on providing cutting-edge clinical care for patients. In the last year alone, doctors performed direct-acting antiviral treatment for over 200 hepatitis C patients, while they also excel in the use of radiofrequency ablation, or RFA, for liver cancer. A major problem lies in how to treat the cancer without impairing liver function. As RFA cauterizes only the tumor region and the surrounding tissues, it is less invasive and therefore an indispensable treatment option. I myself have been conducting alpha treatments since 2003 and have provided more than 1,000 alpha treatments to date. Our hospital has performed full-fledged alpha since 2008, and in the last year, we provided treatment to about 90 patients. Basic research is a central part of the division's work. In a state-of-the-art lab, the division conducts research aiming at a better understanding of liver fibrosis, as well as the development of new drugs. There is no effective therapeutic agent for liver fibrosis at present. We clarify that the wind beta catenin signaling pathway is involved in liver fibrosis, and we developed a liver fibrosis model using HMTG and Nashmai. With recent studies demonstrating that the drug PRI724 might have an impact on liver fibrosis, researchers at Komagome were keen to investigate further. Administration of PRI724 was shown to suppress fibrosis in the liver. As possible, underlying mechanisms for this antifibrotic effect, we suggested that the suppression of hepatic steroid cell activation and the enhancement of fibrosis by macrophages may be involved. In order to bring the potential benefits of new drugs to patients, the Division of Hepatology is well equipped to undertake clinical trials.スタッフ Taking the basic research into the antifibrotic effects of PRI724 to the next level, the division set up a Phase 1 clinical trial with funding from the Japanese Agency for Medical Research and Development. Based on the result of this basic research, we planned a Phase 1 clinical trial to examine whether it's an effective treatment for human ACV killers. We were able to administer the drug to 14 patients. In general, there were no safety problems, and the area of fibrosis in the liver tissue decreased in a dose-dependent manner. We are planning to confirm the reproducibility of the antifibrotic effects through March Center investigation in the next phase of the study. Currently, antifibrotic drugs for liver chirurgies are not used in clinical practice. We'd like to develop such drugs in Japan. Another clinical trial is looking at preventing reactivation of HBV infection after immunosuppressive treatment. Our hospital boasts the largest number of hematopoietic stem cell transplantation in Japan, and cases of HBV reactivation after transplantation are seen with considerable frequency. A prospective clinical study to determine the efficacy of an HBV vaccine was started in 2013 and is ongoing. 
The Division of Hepatology is making a major impact on patient outcomes, from clinical trials to treatment. At the same time, doctors are looking further afield, ready to make the next major breakthrough in liver disease. HCV patients are currently decreasing, but non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH patients are expected to increase in Japan in the future. I hope to shift our research to NASH liver fibrosis in near future. At the same time, we've already begun the optimization of treatment based on differences in the gene expression of liver cancer.